I uh, had to do a bit of work on my poor old long-suffering uh, CQ9325 Chinese lay the other day and uh, while I had it up, had the uh, the carriage off and upside down, I thought, well, maybe I'll show up, do a video, and people can see how these things are built. Um, as far as um, the bits you can't see normally. So here's a look underneath the carriage, and uh, it's actually quite a solid little unit. Um, the machining's not too bad. I mean, even the ways, as you know, where it goes on the ways is quite reasonable considering it's only a budget lathe, and it's. Uh, you know, not bad. Uh, one thing I've noticed, the uh, half nuts on this are massive. I mean, look at the size of these for this, for this little lathe. They're bronze too, and uh, it's got a, quite a big diamond lead screw. So yeah, it's very well built in the uh, half nut department. Uh, it's got gibbs, you can adjust them. Over in here you can see um, the spindle coming through that drives on the rack that runs in a steel hardened steel bush so it's not just in the cast or anything like that so that's quite good it's a reasonable thickness um, over here you can see where I've done a modification to it I put a block in the back here and extended the shaft for the hand wheel because the hand wheel only had a crappy bush in here which let the the shaft um, pivot up and down and you know it wasn't it was wobbly, I didn't like it, so I just extended the back of the shaft out, once again the old bronze brazing gun came in, I just drilled into it um, and then bronzed the shaft into it and uh, made up a mounting block and a little bush and uh, it's now supported uh, on both ends uh, of the shaft, either side of the pinion gear, so it's totally supported and it's good and rigid now the way they should have built it in the first place it was pretty crappy I mean most of them are just pretty crappy like this they just got a crummy little bush in here and there's no support I mean everything's all the thrusts on a little narrow um, bearing area and it should actually be supported on both ends like I've done it so yeah it works good it's a good modification and while I had it off I also did another modification today on it I'm sick of the crummy little uh, these are the adjusters for the back of the saddle, which uh, back of the carriage, which um, adjusted onto the flat section of the bed, and they have these slot-headed screws, which are a real pain in the ass. They uh, they're very short, and they've only got a slot. So I took them out, and I got some. Uh, I didn't have any uh, Allen-headed bolts, so I got some um, Phillips-headed ones, and I just made up some new adjusters and uh, you can get onto it easy. I mean it's hard to reach at the back of the lathe being <clears throat> down behind the um, the back of the carriage right up against the splash guard so at least with the Phillips head screwdriver you can get on them easy and um, gave them some decent length but uh, and on the front, well there's the front of it the uh, poor old thing's been a, through the middle a bit, I've done a lot of work on this thing, it's been a good lathe um, while I had it apart, uh, it was making a funny noise, and uh, I found that the pins on the um, the two pins that go on the cam that work the uh, open and close the uh, uh, the half nuts they were worn because uh, once again no lubrication in there whatsoever, so they just put it together in a factory, no no lube, she'll be right, and of course ten years down the track, and that's how long I've had it. Uh, one of the pins is uh, a mill undersize and it's not totally releasing from the um, from the lead screw so it was just touching making a bit of a bit of a noise and I transverse the carriage anyway there you go that's what they're built like they're quite good actually I mean um, people rubbish Chinese stuff or some people do but actually I reckon they're tremendous value for money myself and the old CQ9325 is a Pretty good little light, I think. I mean, you know, certainly no uh, Rolls Royce, but it's uh, for 1100 bucks. It's uh, a damn good little light, I reckon. Anyway, there you go. Just a bit of an insight on what's inside these uh, Asian jobs, and uh, yeah, there you go. See you next time.